Hi. Oh, girl. I only got two pieces of gum left. Oh my gosh. Why y'all didn't tell me? I mean, I told y'all. I ain't been to a stone. What am I gonna do? Look at that. I gotta get to the gym. Get to the gym. I gotta get to the gym. <laughs> I ain't got no more gum. What are we gonna do? I ain't got no more gum. I ain't gonna be able to chew. I ain't got no more gum. I ain't gonna see you. I ain't got no more gum. Okay. So anyway, y'all, don't y'all hang ungrateful kids. Like, these new kids, these new kids are just ridiculous. And I think, I want to say that the internet is responsible for ruining kids. Because... I don't know. They feel like they can do. It. Why do I always be cricket? Every time I get up on this channel, everything is like slanted. Is that how I live my life every day? Am I a slanted person? Cause I don't understand why I got to deal with this every time I get on camera. <laughs> anyway, so why are kids so? ungrateful and I gotta understand like it's like they feel like you owe them something yeah you didn't ask to be here but now that you're here you're gonna get what I give you until you are able to work for whatever it is that you want personally you know what I'm saying but I think the internet has made them believe that they're supposed to be like rich and have anything and everything that they want they're supposed to do whatever they want they're not supposed to like take care of business life is just all about fun and having a bunch of money and spending a bunch of money and wearing labels and buying material things and nice cars like they have no grasp on reality and i'm talking mostly on regular kids with um working parents you know what i'm saying because other kids that grew up in affluent homes or people that have money or you know these kids that are making money on youtube they're gonna have a completely different experience but kids that grow up with parents that just work which is mostly the middle class and the poor which is 95 percent of people I don't think they understand how life works and, and they don't care. They just want you to get them any and everything. I don't know. Am I tripping? Or do y'all see that too? Like a sense of entitlement. Like they don't have to do anything to get it. But the simple fact that they're here, you're responsible for all of that stuff. Like forget feeding them, giving them basic clothes, basic shelter. No, they want everything. Like rich people stuff i know just be so confused like listen now in this generation these kids out here make money on their own so if you feel like you want all of that get on the internet and start and make that happen <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's not impossible Kids are on YouTube and TikTok and everything every single day making money. But do you have the work ethic and the wherewithal? I hope I'm using that right <laughs> to make those type of things happen. But I'm not about to break my neck for an ungrateful kid that thinks they can should have everything. Like I'm not about to do that. All right. I know what I want out of life and I know how I want the rest of my journey to go and not to be rude but that has nothing to do with you because guess what <laughs> y'all what we got to remember as parents these kids are going to get older and they are not going to be thinking about us they're going to have their own lives they're going to go off and do whatever it is that they want to do while we're sitting here 
stuck and dwelling on all the time and money wasted trying to help them keep up with the Joneses, you know? So it's like, I can help you with basic needs and a little bit extra. And honestly, the little bit extra ain't going to be there if you're disrespectful and you got this entitled attitude. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I don't know. I don't know where that came from, but I just be on the Internet <laughs> and people just crazy, man. It's ridiculous. Like I would never fix my lips when I was little to tell my, tell my parents what they need to do for me or what they need to be buying me or anything. With these kids just, I don't know. I don't know, child. But you know what? I mean, and sometimes you can do all that you can to raise them right or raise them how you were raised. But the internet and, and their friends at school have a much stronger influence on them than you as a parent ever could. Because kids are only going to listen so much. And yeah, you think little Johnny is an angel or little um, Sarah or Tiffany would never do this or never do that. You don't know what they would do when they're not in your presence. So just be mindful of that as well. You can train your kids and teach them everything you think they need to know. They only going to listen so much and for so long. Until somebody else gets in their ear or they see something that catches their eye on the internet, then you be like, damn, I don't know. how did this even happen? I I told taught little Johnny everything in the world. But little Johnny decided to go on his own path and do dumb stuff. And don't feel bad about that kind of stuff either. Unless you're just a terrible parent. <laughs> but if you're doing good and living right and trying your best and supplying them with their basic needs or whatever, they got places to stay, food to eat, clothes on their back, and shoes on their feet. I didn't even mean to rhyme like that. <laughs> Dude, don't you fret, my pet. You're doing a great job, especially in this economy. Do y'all not understand that this is... I don't know why that be stiff. Like, it's stiff, but it ain't. I'll be confused. Like, what are we doing? But anyway, like... This is the most the economy has ever been. So right now, the main things that are important is you and your family having shelter, which we know they've tripled the damn rent prices since 2020, before it ends. And gas is off the hook, food is off the hook, everything. So don't feel bad that you can't supply your kids with unnecessary stuff that they own have for two seconds or play with for two seconds and then be done with it or even wear once or twice don't be don't feel bad about not being able to do any and everything for your child it's all about saving money because we don't know what's gonna go on with this economy and this dollar bill because it ain't backed by nothing if i'm not mistaken we don't know what the future holds so it's right now it's all about saving money Making you sure you secure your shelter and um, providing food and decent clothes. That's it. That is all. And I don't care what nobody else say. I don't care what these kids think. I don't care what other people think on the internet. I don't care what family think. You need to be doing what's best for you. Saving for that rainy day. Because the storms are coming. It's a coming. And it's coming strong and fast. I don't know how we got here, but y'all know what I'm saying? Forget them damn ungrateful kids. I just wanted to rant about ungrateful kids, but I'm going to talk to y'all later, okay? Call you back. <laughs> I mean, ta-ta. <laughs>